Welcome to Hibs, a famous comedy club in Edinburgh. We're going to follow their fortunes over 12 months. Hibs have lost another game, and their manager Colin Calderwood is explaining the result to the media. We've had a severe dose of medicine and we have to learn from the mistakes we make. It looked as if we could have conceded any number of goals today. That can happen to the best of teams and we're not the best of teams at the minute. We didn't do our jobs as a group and we all suffer together. It is now the 5th of November. And the Hibs have lost another match. Some of the local fans are unhappy. That's no fucking good enough, Calderwood. It's a shocking result for us and we take the blame for it. We've got to take what's thrown at us and come back and fight another day. We shouldn't lose like that, in that manner. We played below par as a team and too many individuals played nowhere near it. In the end we didn't have any sustained threat at all. Although he didn't know it, Calderwood was about to lose his job. A phone call summoned him to Mr. Petrie's office. You are killing the balance sheet, killing the football team and killing my reputation. Calderwood. You are fired. And so, the Tash brought in Billy the ex-Jambo number two and put him in the spotlight. The boys will be all right. Billy Brown was sadly wrong. Another defeat saw him explaining what he thought was up with the team. I think it's typical of the performances of the players at Hibs this season. It's rank, poor defending, bad concentration and not enough resilience when you are ahead. That's why we're in the position we're in. And so the Tash made another change. An Irish manager calls Pat Fenlon, but again, they lost. We are where we are for a reason. We haven't been good enough all season. It's important we try to get some players in to improve that. Can you no sort it out, Fenlon? It seemed as though Fenlon could not sort it out. But he did have lots of excuses. The fans are the ones that you feel for because it's a massive game from their point of view. They're the ones that have to take the flack and a bit of stick for a number of weeks. But we are trying to improve. We've identified areas in the team where we need players. We're conceding too many goals and we're not scoring enough. Fenlog kept trying, but his team just wasn't getting it. After another defeat, he again faced up to the media. You've got to keep working hard to change things and turn it around. It's a wake-up call for everybody. We're in a very dodgy situation. Working hard maybe. But was he working smart? Another defeat in February saw him coming up with an interesting point of view. There's very little at the top to make it interesting, so the bottom of it has a bit more interest in it. But it's no good to us. It's difficult to take at the moment. It is the 19th of May, and somehow, Hibs have made it to the Scottish Cup final, where they will meet their bitter rivals, Hearts. I think we can do it. I honestly think we can do it. How wrong he was. A 5-1 defeat was us or one. There was little he could say to make up for a humiliating defeat. We didn't turn up. We didn't shine. We didn't deserve to win the game. We didn't show anything. I apologize to the fans for having to sit and watch that. The club has been like this for a while. There's no desire and we've got to change the players to change the outlook of the club. A summer of signings and hard work on the training ground was sure to see some results for hapless hips. But day one was another disaster. I'm bitterly disappointed. We'll make changes after that performance. But there's key areas in the team that we need to strengthen. But I'm sure you had all summer to prepare for the game today, Pat. You spend days preparing your team and organizing and you concede a goal after two or three minutes. It gives you a mountain to climb. I'm disappointed that they didn't carry out what I asked them to carry out. That's the major disappointment. Well. It was time for Hibs to get back into a cup competition. In the same week as Hearts play Liverpool in the Europa Cup, Hibs travel to play Lowly Queen of the South. Surely they couldn't lose this one. I am disgusted with that performance. We let ourselves down. We let our supporters down. So I am very disappointed. Disappointed maybe, but not surprised. Hibs have been shit for a long long time. And we hope they stay that way for a long time to come.